Hello and welcome to this video for Polysun SPT. In this video, I will show you how to add a power to heat system to an existing building. To begin adding a heat pump, I start by creating an e-designer. I add all roofs of the building to the planning and create an automatic dimensioning layout by clicking on Add Dimensioning Layout. I choose an inverter manufacturer. For this example, I choose SMA and let Polysun do the automatic inverter layout. I just choose one of the variations Polysun made for me. Now I add a consumer to the system. There are many preloaded different profiles you can choose from. If you can't find a profile matching your requirements, you can upload a new profile or create a custom profile right here. Now we get to the real topic of this video, the power to heat system. For this, I click here to add a heat pump and this menu opens. First, we can define the building. This can be done either using the heated area or the annual heating required. In this case, I'll just leave it as is. We can also determine the heating method. In this case, we use underfloor heat. Now I save the heat pump. You can now also change the heat pump again. Additionally, you can adjust the domestic hot water required. We can also change some components of the heat pump, like the tank volume and the output power. Polysun gives recommendations for that, which I will just use. I save these changes and change the name of the planning. In this case, to power to heat. I now click on simulate to simulate the variation. This might take a while since the data is sent to the API where it is then computed. Now that the variant has been simulated, I copy it and rename the copy to only PV. In this copy, I remove the heat pump and simulate the variant as well.
after both plannings have been simulated, I can compare them by clicking on Compare Plannings and selecting these two plannings. Here I can see that the yield of the two plannings is the same. We can, however, see that in the power to heat case, the total electricity consumption is higher, especially in winter. We can now also have a look at other important values like the self-consumption. This is also significantly higher in winter for the system with power to heat. I hope this video helped you understand how to create power to heat systems in PolySun SPT. If you want to, you can even go a step further and enable PolySun down. You can then simulate the planning again and open the file in the PolySun desktop program and improve the system further in that program.